this uh, with rounded corners. So let me just find that. Uh, I think it was called rounded. I just I downloaded uh, this font from uh, I think it's called one one hundred one thousand and one fonts. So you can just go there and download it as well. It's called round black. Uh, that's what I'm going to be using. I rotate it a bit here. I also just set up my materials here so that our viewport looks nice. It's going to give this a uh, gold material, something like that. Now, if you convert this into a mesh, then extrude like that. And just shade smooth. You can go to your object data and under uh, a remesh, you can uh, remesh these so that we get rid of those triangles uh, that we have here because we're going to be using the cloth simulator and uh, the cloth simulator doesn't really work well uh, with uh, this kind of topology so we need to remesh it uh, so i'm just going to hit voxel remesh now you can see this is what we have we don't have enough resolution in this so i'm just going to undo this uh please if there is any issues with the live stream let me know if the audio is clear and uh, things like that but uh, uh, so if you reduce uh, the, the voxel side size here and uh, hit remesh, you should get a better mesh like this. And uh, now I'm just going to, we need to use the cloth uh, simulator. Build one face body uh, with hair and dress. Uh, hello, and more wild. Um, Ani Ope Yemi, uh, hello there. Uh, the there is a live stream version of uh, that tutorial or the time lapse on on this channel. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew uh, the faces on this side uh, to this side, and uh, the way you do that is that uh, you need to make sure that you don't have faces connected directly to from this side to this side. So I'm just going to remove these here. I'm using Ctrl X to dissolve uh, those faces. Then I'm just selecting. Uh, we need also to make sure that these are selected as well. So this two. Okay. Now I can go to the top. Select all the faces and then delete delete only faces so that you have uh, these sewing lines are like this then what you do you go to the physics simulator of physics tab turn on cloth now if we hit play it will just fall down we don't want that so we can go under field weights and remove uh, the gravity so that it doesn't fall and, uh, now nothing is really happening what you want to do is go under I think it's shape turn on sewing and uh, if you play back you should sew uh, the front side uh, to the back side and uh, that is a very high sewing force so i'm just going to limit that a bit reduce the sewing force uh, to something like one hit play and watch uh, the magic happen it's going to be a bit slow but uh, that's okay uh, that's simply because of the resolution we are using here so okay 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 now that is done uh you can go to the modifiers and apply the cloth modifier you don't want to hit this apply just hit this apply as shape keys so if i hit that uh it will just remove the all the cloth data we have but uh, it will have it under uh, the shape keys data so now i can go to that and uh, increase the value and you can see we have our data now we can reapply the cloth simulator or cloth modifier so cloth and uh, make sure you move back your timeline indicator to zero and uh, now i uh, make sure you turn on our uh, pressure this time so that we get we give it that inflated uh, look so now you can hit play uh, make sure you have the pressure turned up at something like five and uh, hit play again we don't want the gravity so i'm just going to reduce that uh, to nine 
on the heat play you should start inflating uh, this let us make this more reflective and see how that how the look how the look is coming up It's going to increase uh, the pressure just a bit, something like 10, just to see how things go. Hello, Alex Kaznet. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name, but uh, how are you doing? Hope you are doing great. So I think that's enough for this. This looks good enough. And uh, you can do the, all the other letters like that. And so what, we, what is left is to add this kind of seam, protruding seam. So for that, let me just apply uh, this cloth, a modifier. Again, I've just applied it as a key, as a shape key, so that uh, if I want to change the value, you can just change it here. Uh, if you're experiencing this issue, just turn off this other shape key we had and now we have our yeah now we can go in and start adding more details i'm just going to make to just apply these shape keys so that this is my only form so to do that i'll just you can just right click uh, sorry use the shortcut control a uh, to apply a uh, visual geometry to mesh now if i get rid of these these shape keys i retain uh, the shape we simulated and now this is what we have so let me just go back to my change the colors a bit play with the color i think this is good yeah so we have our first letter now you can go on and do all the other letters you want to do let me just okay so i think we can go on and do something else just making sure that everything is 